Hello. So I thought we would have some fun with Gaussian kernels. Gaussian kernels are, are really, really cool. So we have some data set uh, and it's kind of challenging, um, right? A linear model obviously wouldn't be able to separate this, but Gaussian kernel, that can do it. So let's check out what, what happens when you use a Gaussian kernel. All right, so when you use a Gaussian kernel in this data set, um, it, it actually completely separates it. And I'm gonna show you what happens kind of vertically, because remember, Gaussian kernel, it means you add up you add up a bunch of bumps, right? Each positive example gets a, a positive bump and each negative example gets a negative bump. And so um, it ends up kind of looking like this if you look at it from the side. And we can see exactly how it classifies everything perfectly. All right, nifty. So let's try another data set. Uh, let's try, how about that data set? And you could see that, you know, come on, for the Gaussian kernel, this should be a piece of cake. All right, so let's check out what happens with this data set. All right, so it looks like that. And um, again, classifies everything perfectly. And let's see what happens when I tip it to the side. You could kind of guess what would happen there. Again, all the positive bumps add up to something positive and the negative bumps add up to something negative. All right, nifty nifty. Let's try third data set. Okay, so let's try that data set and you could probably get the sense of what's going to happen. And let's see how it does. There we go. Yeah, so I went a little too fast there for you to enjoy the beautiful visual effects, but yeah, essentially that, that's what it does. So you can kind of get the sense that guessing kernels are pretty, pretty powerful. There it goes. <laughs> All right, thank you.